iMinch maintains a special category called Keywords. You can see this category in the category view. This is a system maintained data driven category that reflects the actual keywords in your files. This small sample database has only a few files and none of these files has keywords. This is why the keywords category is currently empty. I now add a few keywords to one of the files. Now we switch to the category view and see what has changed with the keywords category. As you can see, the keywords just added to this file show up under the keywords category. Let's add some additional keywords to some of the other files. The keyword category automatically updates to reflect the changes I did to the keywords of these files. When I click on one of the child categories of keywords, I see all files with that keyword. All files with the keyword girl, all files with the keyword peaches, and all files with the keyword baby. If you work with hierarchical multi-level keywords, the keywords category expands to include all levels of your keyword hierarchy, like in this case Portrait Studio. I've now switched to a larger database with more files and more keywords. You can see how the keywords category builds up while you add more files and more keywords to your database. You can still quickly find uh, um, files with a specific keyword by just clicking on the corresponding uh, category under Keywords. IMATCH treats the keywords category in a special way. Um, operations you perform on images shown under keywords are automatically uh, mapped or mirrored into the keywords. For example, um, I have a wrong image in this category which is labeled indoor. This is clearly not an indoor image. I can now just unassign this file from the indoor category and this automatically removes the indoor keyword from the file as well. Let me just undo that to show you something else. Instead of just unassigning this image from the category, I can move it from the indoor category to the outdoor category. This not only moves the file from one category to the other, but it also removes the indoor keyword and adds the outdoor keyword. This makes it very comfortable to uh, swap keywords or to uh, exchange keywords between files. You can also copy files to keyword categories to assign the corresponding keywords. For example, I drag this image to the outdoor category and hold down the control key to make this a copy operation. This adds the file to the outdoor category and at the same time adds the outdoor keyword. You can also just use the clipboard by pressing Ctrl C to copy the files into the clipboard and then going to the target category and pressing Ctrl V to insert the files. This not only inserts the files but also adds the corresponding keyword. This is especially convenient if you have a very large um, category tree. A super helpful feature of the keywords category is the ability to rename or change a keyword by just renaming the corresponding category. For example, these images are tagged wrong with the name Jonas. The baby is actually called Jason. So I just change the name of the category from Jonas to Jason and image automatically updates the corresponding keyword in all files in the database. The special keywords category is based on the actual keywords in your files. iMatch automatically uh, maintains this category and it's always there and always current. Keywords allows you to find 
files very quickly by just clicking on the category corresponding to the keyword you're looking for. This allows you to see all files with one or more specific keywords. Since keywords is a normal category, you can also use it in uh, formulas, in the category builder and elsewhere. The keywords category also allows you to quickly add, remove and change keywords in the entire database. All changes you do on the keywords category are also performed on the actual keywords in your files. The categories panel shows you the categories in your database and allows you to assign and remove um, files from categories or two categories. If you perform assignments on a keywords category in the category panel, like in this case, I assign the files to the child category, iMage adds the corresponding keyword automatically. This allows you to quickly assign files uh, or keywords to files without using the keyword panel and from everywhere you have access to the categories panel. You can easily filter for any category including keyword categories using the categories filter in the filter panel. If the categories filter is not visible, make sure it is enabled in this drop down menu. For example, I want to filter the files in, in this folder for all files tagged with the motif um, winter. I click the its corresponding keywords category and then enable the categories filter. This shows me only files tagged with the keyword winter or all files tagged with the word Christmas or winter. Another interactive way to filter by keywords using the filter panel is to use a value filter. I enable the value filter and select the hierarchical keyword from this list of tags. This shows me all keywords assigned to files in the current scope, in this case, in this folder, or in this folder, or in this folder. I can now click the keyword to filter by this keyword. I use the AND operation, which means that only files having assigned all keywords I pick from this list uh, are visible. For example, I select mail and I get these images. And in addition, I select location beach and then I get only images tagged with the keyword mail and beach. Value filters based on keywords, like all filters, work on the current scope, which is what you see in the file window. If I enable the filter for the keyword Christmas, I see all files tagged with the keyword Christmas in this folder. If I instead change the scope to include the entire database, I see all files in my database with the keyword Christmas. And of course you can search for keywords using the standard file window search bar. Make sure that the option to search metadata is enabled and then just type in the keyword you're looking for.